Hello, um, Alan here. I want to tell you about some work that we've been doing around development of participatory tools to guide. So firstly, what are we doing and why are we doing it? Well, when it comes to feed interventions, we usually find that when we approach farmers and ask them what their main problems are, they come back with feed. Feed is often a major problem faced by farmers. And the business as usual approach is that the extension worker, the researcher, will then approach a scientist and say, we've got this group of farmers with a series of feed problems. What feed technologies have you got that can help these farmers? And the researcher comes back with a range of options, including planted forages, urea treated straw, multipurpose trees, and so on. And the extension agent or the researcher says, OK, well, let's, let's try that. And he takes them back to the farmers. So there's this kind of uh, scattergun approach to action. So with that in mind, we, uh, several years ago, uh, developed a tool called FEAST, which helps to systematize thinking around feed interventions. And FEAST consists of three main elements. Firstly, a focus group discussion exercise, which involves an overview, of gathering an overview of the farming system, some of the livestock feed issues, looking at marketing issues, looking at major problems around livestock production and also possible solutions. And that's conducted with, within communities, with farmers and other stakeholders. And then there's a second component, which is an individual farmer survey, which we undertake with um, a subset of farmers. And there's a standardized template in which that information is entered, and then it generates some standardized graphical outputs, which form the basis for what we call the feast report. So the third phase is just putting all that data together, both from the qualitative and the quantitative surveys, and then developing a feast report, which basically presents some ideas for intervention, which is based on more than just uh, the ideas of scientists, but it involves farmer views and uh, a kind of wider perspective on the livestock system. How does that help us? Well, um, what we found in applying FEAST over the years is that the, the researcher, instead of looking uh, kind of lovingly at their technologies and ignoring all the other issues around what makes feed intervention successful, like labor, health um, of livestock, input supply, market issues, other kind of social issues among farmers, and um, potentially the solutions that farmers themselves ha have. So in instead of ignoring all that stuff and simply focusing on the technology, FEAST helps to, to turn and face those things and to understand the broader context in which um, feed interventions um, operate and therefore work with feed interventions which are more likely to be beneficial to farmers. Some anecdotal evidence that, that applying the feast approach actually leads to better feed interventions and also changes in, in knowledge, attitudes and practices of those who use them. So what's unique about it? Well, I think this moves away from the business as usual approach where the scientist is the one with all the answers and um, has a very focus, narrow focus on technology to a much broader um, perspective around feed intervention, which generates ideas which are appropriate, owned by farmers, fit the context in which they're designed to, to um, deal with feed issues. And the other thing that's unique about it is that through the, the act of applying the tool and using the tool, we found that that changes the, the knowledge, the attitude, and the practices of those who use the tool. It, it engenders a broader thinking and a better understanding of farmer constraints. Opportunities for collaboration. How could collaboration with others make it better? Well, FEAST was already a very strongly collaborative exercise in its evolution. It started within ILRI and SEAT, um, but there's been broad collaboration across the CGI and also the, the development community in developing the approach. I guess there's opportunity for more collaboration within the development community um, to make it more relevant to to development practice, um, and as it's used more, we continue to get feedback about how to improve it. And I guess thirdly, there's possibilities for collaboration with um, the research methods group within ELRI on aggregation of, of some of this feed, FEAST data into a global online database. So FEAST is being used all over the place, um, and there, it would be good to have some way of capturing 
some of that standardized data and populating a global online database. Thank you very much. Better lives through livestock. <laughs>